survivors say it was like a scene from the movie Titanic. The Costa Concordia, with 4,000 people on board, was on a Mediterranean cruise when it hit rocks close to the Italian island of Gillo. With the cruise liner foundering, there was panic and confusion as passengers scrambled for lifeboats. Some even chose to swim it to shore. Tonight, 24 hours after the disaster, three people are confirmed dead and 40 are still missing. Divers have resumed searching the half-submerged hull for more survivors, while the ship's captain is in jail, awaiting possible manslaughter charges. Europe correspondent Philip Williams begins our coverage. The picture said it all. A giant ocean liner, its hull ripped apart, the rock that did the damage clearly visible. And below the waterline, Italian frogmen were searching cabin to cabin, hoping somehow there may be survivors. This is not happening. This is not happening. Steve, Kathy! More than 4,000 passengers and crew did make it to safety, mostly in lifeboats. We had a lifeboat. There were very few seats there. My husband and I took the last remaining two seats. But then the panic began and people started to try to break the doors and get on a lifeboat. People on a boat tried to push them away because the boat was full. There were many reports of panic and a slow evacuation. Everything was shaking, the tables were falling everywhere. Panic, the ship was leaning and we didn't know what to do. It was just like the Titanic, exactly without the water, exactly without the water coming at us. There was just total Surreal. chaos. I was very uh, scared, super scared with my husband. We were not able to find a raft to leave. I keep praying the whole time for, you know, for somebody to come and rescue us because I had two kids and I thought I was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Others jumped into the icy waters and swam for their lives. And we swam to the shore. But what I was very worried about when I was swimming, uh, I, I was keep looking at the boat was coming. So I wanted to make sure I could get further away so if it comes, it doesn't trap us. And then I got on my back and I just said to my wife, kick, 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 swim, swim. But what went wrong? A modern, sophisticated vessel gashed open just 200 metres from shore. The ship uh, practically hit the rock, a big rock. This has caused a blackout, which um, has then been um, restored. And uh, the captain was actually on the bridge then um, has realised that it was necessary to um, abandon the ship. Just about everyone abandoned ship with no documents, just the clothes they were wearing at the time. But with the confirmed dead and the possibility more victims will be found, they are the lucky ones. Philip Williams, ABC News.